What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob, his name is Larry, and her name is Sally. And welcome back to a brand new video. Hello. Now, although technically it is not my birthday just yet, my birthday is only a week away. So I figured what better way to celebrate than to look back in my old drawing folder when I was just a kid, when life was simple, when I was innocent, when things in my life had not happened to me yet, when responsibilities were not there and and I had hair. Why am I doing this? All jokes aside, getting older, nothing wrong with it. I could do without the leg pain, the neck pain, the arm pain, the back pain, the wrinkles and, you know, the hair loss. It's why I wear a hat. To hide it. Other than that, getting older is great. Anyway, this is my drawing folder. It contains artwork from between the ages of nine and I think 14 years old. So what we're gonna do right now is take a little flick through this and see if we can find any artwork that stirs up a little, you know, a few memories. That'd be nice. And we're gonna redraw it. And hopefully we've improved over the years and it's not been a total waste of years. I'm not enjoying this. I, none of this is fun. <laughs> I'm just joking guys, it's my birthday, I'm happy, let's do this. And now the artwork in here you'll notice is predominantly The Simpsons when I first began, as I was pretty much obsessed with this show growing up. Which then moved into my love of Sonic the Hedgehog, another thing I was an uber fan of growing up and still very much do love. Then when I finally became a little bit more confident in my artistic abilities, I moved into Dragon Ball. But between all of this, there were some variety, and one of them, I'm curious to know how many of you actually know of this, Rayman. Specifically, Rayman 3, one of my favorite games of all time. I absolutely loved it growing up, and I want to know, did you play it? Now, one thing that's actually quite funny about this drawing here is the reference image I used when I was a kid. As you'll notice, I was incredibly scared and reserved. So much so, I didn't draw the chain claw. This happened a lot in my youth. I was very scared of detailed work until I began drawing Dragon Ball. It was then that I came to the realization that one, more details made the drawings easier as there were more reference points to go by. And two, I was only scared of how long it would take to do the drawing itself. That was just lazy. So today I'm not going to be lazy, today I'm going to be drawing this as I wish I had done the original. It may take a little bit more time, but hey, I feel like it'll be time well spent. And with that extra time, I'm drawing a rough base. As we see in the original, I never did any rough guides. I just jumped straight into the drawing and this is a rookie move. Now it's all good to draw a final result without planning, but who are you showing off for? It's a risky way of drawing and as I grew, I learned the value of rough planning. Think about this, you're going to spend a couple of hours at least on a drawing, so that's already time taken. So just go the extra mile, make the plans, make the sketch, be rewarded. You know what's funny? When I was a kid, I never had access to anything more than just a pencil and some paper. And uh, that was pretty much the limitations of what I could create. Uh, markers, I never used markers, and as for alcohol markers, I don't think anyone even knew they existed. So that was a thing. But art in general was a very, very different thing, a very different world back then. We didn't have social media, we didn't really have regular internet access. So drawing was pretty much one of those things where you had to kind of know how to do it, or know someone who knew how to do it, or find a school that knew how to teach it. And it was very difficult. It was very difficult to find these places. It was sort of a word of mouth type thing. So, Art was very different back in the day. It was very difficult to, to learn. And I wish I had been born in this generation where, well, not completely. But, but the one benefit this generation does have is the ease of access to pretty much anything you want. And if you want to draw something, you want to find some reference materials, you want to learn something, it is all there online on the internet right now. You can click off this video. Don't, don't click off the video, but you can click off this video and go and learn something right now. And that's, it's kind of cool. It's like really cool. So lucky. 
Now, as we can see here, I'm beginning to refine some of those details on my rough base. And this is why I do the base drawing, because the base gives me a foothold. It gives me something to go off of instead of a blank sheet of paper. Now I can begin adding in those details. I'm going to repeat this. There is no reward for finishing fast. The reward comes by taking your time. And something I've already begun to notice while doing this drawing is that my attention to detail has greatly improved over the years. I am not taking shortcuts, I'm looking at the minor details and making them work. And if something doesn't make sense in the original, I change it, I make it work. I'm not afraid to alter the original image to suit my whatever result I'm going for. And with the rough done, I can already say I have made some pretty good progress over the years, but it is time for a step I would never have taken as a kid. I mean, mostly because I didn't own any technology, least of all a light pad. But to take a rough drawing and clean it up with inking, let alone on an entirely different sheet of paper, this is a lot of extra work. And young ADC? Well, he'd have been pretty eager to finish up right about now. But old ADC, well, he's got plenty of time. And so we move on to the coloring. Now, this is a pretty big deal for me because when I was young, I never used color. Well, I never used color of my own merit. It was always because somebody else wanted me to. A teacher told me to, friend or a parent said, hey, use color or we're kicking you out. It didn't really go down like that. I mean, it probably did. I, I don't I don't know. It was, I don't remember much about my childhood. Hmm. Anyway, so this is a problem that many young and new artists suffer from, and that is sticking with pencils. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a graphite-only artist. That is a totally legit art style, and if you wish to do that, that's on you. But I will say this, using color will massively improve the other areas of your artwork. You should always try to learn how to use colored, whether it's markers, pencils, it doesn't matter what it is, learn to use colors. Your art will improve overall. You'll learn shadows, you'll learn tones, you'll learn how things interact with other things just better and easier when using color. And then you can go back to graphite. You can, you can stay there. You don't have to always do it. Just sometimes. Seriously, I wish I could explain it, but it really, my, my art improved when I began using color. So here we are everyone, the results of today's drawing video, redraw video. What do you think of the results? Do you like it? Do you love it? Let me know in a comment down below. I love this. This is 20 years in the making. But let's take a look at where we began. At around 11 or 12 years old, I was just a kid drawing for the fun of it. Drawing because I loved what it was I was doing. I loved Rayman Free. So I drew it. And this is, 
I don't care if I took shortcuts, to be honest. I didn't finish the entire piece. I made a choice as a child not to finish it. And maybe at the time I thought I was being cool because I was changing the image and that was cool. I'm pretty proud of this, but let's jump into the future. Everyone, <laughs> I, wow. When you look at the two of them like this, when you jump back and forth between the two of them, it's quite something. There are 20 years between these two and it's quite, emo it's actually quite emotional. This is, I mean, I still love drawing. I still enjoy picking up a pencil and drawing. I never thought in 20 years time, I would still, I can't do this on camera, by the way. Just know that this outro is done on a voiceover for a reason. This is, I'm very happy to be where I am right now and I thank you all for that. I really do hope that you like the results here today and if you are just starting out, whether you're a kid, whether you're an adult, just know that there is more that you can achieve and if you keep at it, if you keep going, it, it'll get better because I've never been happier than I am today.